We have two boys. Our youngest is Travis. Travis was born with developmental needs, as we discovered, on the autism spectrum. There was a family that I met through Special Olympics basketball that told us about this program, and we came in to be interviewed. And I can tell you, the day that we heard back that he had been accepted here was just like winning the lottery. As a parent and as an educator and as a community member, we are so fortunate to be able to spend our days with John Paul. I've got to say that last Saturday night, John Paul had one rebound, shot three times, and scored two baskets. <laughs> Being here with the program has just been phenomenal for John Paul and for our family. Here at Holy Spirit, they've had the freedom and the willingness to adapt and work with Gavin Strings and things they need to bolster to. I finally feel like we're somewhere that they believe in him. There's no day that Rachel say, I don't want to go to school, never. Every day she look forward to come here, so that means a lot to me. That means she's happy, she like it, and people love her. They're just the best friends you can have, and seeing them succeed, there's nothing that can make you more happy. The Catholic Church, of course, teaches the dignity of all human persons. Every single person is created in the very image and likeness of God, and so the Catholic Church is always looking to seek ways to serve pastorally and spiritually the children entrusted to our care. God is the giver of all life. And so for whatever reason, God has given us life in various forms. Three of our high schools have programs. Currently, two of our elementary schools have programs, and we are expanding that each year, and that's a real priority. It's part of our Catholic faith. We're pro-life. We're about the dignity of the human person. What a better way for that to manifest than having these programs in our schools. At Bishop O'Connell, we have a way of making sure students are involved and included, and the parents and the families don't have to push that. It's already built into the, what we're doing. One period a day, I go with Adam to anatomy, and we go through the lessons like everyone else. It's taught me patience, for sure. The whole point is I have to be a positive influence on him. So he wants to learn. Being that shoulder to lean on for Henry has been awesome because it makes me want to be a better person because I'm a role model for him. I have changed tremendously actually working with Henry. He's taught me so many things that apply to any situation. He's one of the main reasons I want to come to school every day. We have amazing peer mentors. They're so nice. They like a PPI family. Seeing them do great in their everyday lives brings me up and it brings everyone up. If every school had a program like this, it makes everyone so much happier. In theology class, we always learn that Jesus helped others and I really feel like I am also helping other students just be their best selves and I'm just trying to be my best self as well. Sometimes I to help us a little bit, help us math reading and touch other subjects. There's another dimension to learning that occurs when there is a student that has different needs in your classroom. Not only does the teacher learn different ways of differentiation and reaching all types of learning abilities, but the students also learn too. I help my peer mentors with the smile on their face every day at school. I say, different intellectual capabilities because everybody has an ability. We have students who come back and work here after they've graduated from college with special ed degrees because this program got them started. Students with intellectual disabilities should have the same opportunities as their general education peers to be educated in a Christian way. I think you just have to know the students and you see the joy that they get when you see them on the playground, in the cafeteria, and they're just one of the kids. It's the human dignity. They should be around their classmates. Everyone benefits from it. The other students benefit from it. The teachers benefit from it. The entire school benefits from it. The extended community benefits from it. It's important for O'Connell, as it is important for any Catholic school, to welcome any family who wants a Catholic education. The growth of the program each year has really been remarkable. You just see this Holy Spirit working because we had faculty stepping forward, families stepping forward, charities stepping forward to help us like Porto. Porto 104 and our tax-exempt fundraising arm, Porto Charities Incorporated, raise funds for the purpose of establishing special education and inclusion programs in Catholic schools in the Diocese of Arlington. I'm so grateful to an organization like Porto Charities that 
will assist through grants in providing funding and help to families. This is real life. Every person, whether they're children, adults, everybody has special needs. It's not a matter of inclusion. It's a matter of living in community with each other. The Catholic vision for Henry and kids like him is it's an opening world that has no limits. I've talked to lots of parents all the time about this and your child will be so much happier. We didn't have the space, we didn't have the staff, but we made a decision three years ago to make space, hire the staff, and that's all it really took. If we can do it, you can probably do it too. Contact us and help any way we can to let you know what's ahead and how to do it, but it's definitely worth it.